Hey everybody, Duke here from the Queen's Botanical Garden, here to discuss a little bit about bird habitats and maintenance for the upcoming migration, and also for the maiden season for our state bird, which is the Eastern Bluebird. Now migration has already started a little bit this last few weeks, so what we need to do is we need to clear out our birdhouse. That way the tenants, when they do come in, can have the space, right, to make a nest and also to get some babies in there, right? So. Before we get started and take a look at our birdhouse here, we do have to do a couple safety measures, right? So, before we get started, we need to get gloves on, right? And before I put on my other glove, we also need to have safety goggles. Now, I wasn't able to find any safety goggles, but what I was able to borrow from my neighbor was their reading glasses, right? So today, you get to see Mr. Duke in some glasses, all right? So, got the glasses, that way any debris or soot or particulate matter found within these nests that we're going to take a look at in a second, don't get in your eyes, okay? And then secondly, right, we're going to need a mask, right? Any cloth mask or coverage we should be able to use, right? And if you're living in New York, you definitely have one, right? And then finally, gloves. Put on gloves, handle the material inside. It's a previous bird house, or bird nest, excuse me. And that tenant probably put a bunch of different kinds of feathers from other birds, and as well as sticks, twigs, some hay that you see around us today, right? And so we don't want to get any sort of mites, lice, or any kind of bugs in our hands, right? And it's just another good way to stay safe, okay? So let's take a look, all right? So before we do, make sure to put on your mask. All right, mask is on. And this birdhouse here has a pin system, so we're basically just going to pull a pin and then we're going to take a look at what's inside. Ready? Before we get started, nobody's home. All right. All right. So we'll take a closer look inside. We'll take a closer look inside the birdhouse in a minute, but first, let's take a closer look at this debris. Alrighty folks, as you can see here is this makeshift nest that another bird, most likely a sparrow, had placed in our bluebird house. So as we take a closer look, we can see that it's made up of mostly dead natural things like sticks, twigs, there's a little bit of plant material in here, as well as little clobs of dirt, as we can see deep down in here. But on the other side, oftentimes birds use feathers of other birds to make their nests. So if you look closely here, we have one little bright feather here, if I can grab the base of it, right, and that is actually a cardinal feather, right, and the bright red signs of this, as well as this guy here, kind of reveal to us that this is most likely a male cardinal due to its bright, rich red color, right. We also can see that there is a blue jay feather. I know it's very weathered, but we can see the blue hint, there it is as well as the white top of the feather there that's pretty weathered, but that tells us that this is a blue jay feather. And if you guys find any sort of feathers in your neighborhood, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife has a great service and a forensics database of feathers and how to ID them. And there's that beautiful red feather there. And I'll leave you guys the link to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Forensics Lab at the end of this video. Alrighty folks, now that we got the bulk of the debris out of our birdhouse, it's time to get the remaining bits out of the corners and edges, right? So typically you can use a little toothbrush, maybe a towel you have laying around, or if you're like me, you get kind of crafty and you want to use natural things. So I pulled out some dandelions laying around. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to pull the pin and I'm going to clear out any of the corners because I saw some cobwebs laying around. So, getting our mask up. We're going to lift the lid of the house and kind of clear out the corners here. Some webs. And now with the bristles of these dandelions, we're going to clear it all out. Alright, let me just turn and see. Looks like we're clear. Alright. So the apartment is now clear for our new tenants. So we're going to close the top. Reactivate our little pin here so it stays shut in the wind and in the storms. All right, and one last thing to note, if you do decide to put up a birdhouse in your local neighborhood, maybe in your community garden, or any sort of area within a park, be sure to raise it about five to six feet high up in the ground to invite the eastern bluebird. I'm about five six, five seven on a good day, so this one could even get raised about another foot in the air. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and be sure to stay tuned with QBG at home. And if you can, subscribe to our Facebook and to our Instagram. Alrighty, stay safe, folks.